is so spiritual and so deep wearing spiritual scuba diving gear diving in the sea of forgetfulness swimming past their mess and digging up yours but who shall lay any charge to God's elect it is God that justified me I ain't did nothing to deserve it God has imputed righteousness to my life Bishop Spurgeon says when David gets up, washes his flesh, changes his clothes, anoints his head, goes into the temple. <laughs> Spurgeon says it is at that time, David said, I was glad. When they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Well, that, 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 that sound, that sound like that's where we need to end the sermon at. <laughs> you know, you end the sermon right there. But wait, if you don't study the genealogical aspects of what make you do what you do, you will constantly repeat it. Mendel's law says you are the sum total of everything that is resident in a mother and in a father. Everything that is resident in them is in your DNA. So what, what, what gives David this propensity just to be out of control and love foreign women? Great, 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 great grandfather named Judah. Judah went to Canaan and married a black woman named Thamar. They had three sons, Ur, Onan, and Shua. Long story short, Ur married a woman from the same land his daddy did named Tamar. Tamar was a wonderful, beautiful sister. But the Bible says Ur was evil. God kills him. Onan is to fulfill the Levitical law by marrying his deceased brother's wife, entering into her, spilling seed in her womb. She conceives. They name the first child after the deceased brother. So he have inheritance. But Onan has a problem. He doesn't mind the intimacy. He does not want to have the responsibility of fatherhood. So when he climaxes, he spills the seed on the ground. I ain't talking nasty. That's in the Bible. Now the Bible says when he spills the seed on the ground, he dies. Why would God kill a man for spilling seed outside a covenant? The life of the flesh is in the blood. Every person in here got your blood from your daddy's seed. Cain slays Abel. Here's it, here it is right here. Abel, the Bible says figuratively, his blood is crying out from the ground. You know what that simply means? There were generations in the loins of Abel crying out for justice because they were killed prematurely. The last son was Shua, but Judah lies to her. Long story short, goes to the city. Tamar veils herself like a prostitute. There's three things that she gets by way of collateral in order to sleep with Judah. Signet, bracelet, staff. Signet, you sign your legal documents. Bracelet, a sign of man's material worth. Staff, the man's authority in his homeland. She got all three articles of identification for one night. He gave up his livelihood for one night. Uh-oh, they're they going to catch it in a minute, Mark. They gave up their livelihood for one night. Guess what happens? He goes back home. 30 days later, he sends a male goat. That was the payment. They can't find the harlot. They say, no harlot works this part of town. They brought the goat back. They said, master, we can't find her. 60 more days go by, making it 90 days. He hears through the grapevine, his daughter-in-law is pregnant. Guess what he says? 
He says, going back to the law now, a woman that is waiting for the Levite law to be fulfilled, if she spoils herself, 